Hey, what's up, fellas? What we're looking at here is the Steam Axe. This thing runs on diesel instead of propane. And I'm just going to do a quick demonstration of some decal removal with this. This isn't actually a decal that I'm removing. It's a, a sticker on a, an industrial air compressor. And I'm just, if you'll bear with me a second, you'll see that it can remove this kind of stuff very quickly. But that's not why I built this particular unit. I just wanted to test it real fast before I sell it. I built this particular unit for a company called The Grease Genie. They do commercial kitchen cleaning. But I've got people asking me about decal removal and sticker removal, so I wanted to show them this thing in action doing that real quick while we're at it. So this is how much water we're boiling. Every 45 seconds you're going through a liter one liter a minute. So this is the Steam Axe, and this is the, uh, the latest design. This is an industrial unit for um, steam cleaning kitchens, commercial kitchen cleaning and stuff like that. This thing's gonna have different nozzles you can attach to it. This particular one's gonna be set up to run on diesel. I also run these on propane. They run on propane, phenomenal. The only problem is the bottle pressure can boil off on you pretty quick and then you're left with reduced performance so the whole point of running this on diesel fuel is to kind of kick that performance up a notch this is 96,000 watts of steam cleaning power as far as the theoretical efficiency of this mono tube boiler itself you're not getting anywhere near that but most of the waste heat is directed right at the work which loosens up grease and grime and anything you're cleaning and it also has the subsequent effect of rapid drying the object you're cleaning gets hit with this 96,000 watt hair dryer and heats up the surface itself quite a bit more so than what you would get with from just the steam so if you've ever seen something fresh out of a hot dishwasher and how it appears to dry instantly you get that effect with this instrument um, it is dangerous, it, it is just like running a blowtorch, so you do got to be careful and mindful where you're aiming this thing, so just one thing to keep in mind. Putting a shroud over the outside of it is something people keep telling me to do, and it's, it's just absolutely out of the question it's not going to happen, because they seem to forget once you put a shroud over it, then what happens? you got a red hot shroud you're going to burn yourself with, so sure you could insulate it, you could do all this stuff but this is not made for idiots I hate to say that but if you've got an employee you want to run this thing make sure it's your top guy because uh, this is dangerous and it could definitely damage things if you're ain't careful with it too but nonetheless its ability to clean stuff is phenomenal let me grab a tarred up artifact one of my customers from Peoria Illinois who is a uh, superintendent of a road crew company sent me this object and as you can see here this tar is rock hard stuff you couldn't touch this with a pressure washer but the steam axe was able to clean this back up to a usable condition fairly quickly now I could have went a step further and, and clean this thing up to look brand new but the purpose was to just get it usable again and uh, this thing gets really heavy and just clogged up so I gave it a quick spray I cleaned off some other objects with it I'm gonna leave a link in the description to the video of me testing that thing but uh, for the most part I just wanted to show you guys this new handle setup that I got this is removal any day now this thing is light enough to use it with one hand but uh, just like with any tool, that can get pretty heavy. It feels about like a nail gun. If you've ever fired a pass load nail gun before, that's about the grip strength you would need to run one of these all day. And I can run a pass load all day without too much problem. So you should be okay. But nonetheless, adding this grip is definitely going to make maneuvering them hoses and stuff around a lot easier for you. The other change that I did make is that the fire is coming out on top of the nozzle this time instead of the nozzle sticking out. And the reason for that was is oftentimes when you're cleaning the direction of travel is in this um, direction. You usually ain't dragging it away from you. 
you're usually pushing it in this direction and you want that flame to preheat the work zone to loosen up the grease and grime and whatever it is that you're cleaning up. I even had a farmer um, build me or build him one of these specifically for the task of removing frozen cow turds. So <laughs> I've got some doozies. A lot of people are using these for ice dam removal and I have never seen an ice dam in my life. I looked it up one day on the internet and they show some cross sections of it but apparently in Chicago, Illinois ice dams are a huge deal so if you're into ice dam removal this bad boy right here is going to outperform any piece of equipment you currently have and not to mention all the waste heat from the diesel is going right into the work zone instead of out the stack of some piece of crap pressure washer that only gets the water hot you're not going to be spraying hundreds of gallons of water all over the place making even more of an ice mess somewhere else with this you're looking at about a liter per minute of water consumption a little bit more than that but um, you get the augmented effect of this heat blast in tandem with the steam this can do saturated steam or dry steam you can get this thing up to probably six to seven hundred degrees fahrenheit before you started to damage the stainless steel properties of this coil i wouldn't go any hotter than that you're going to find that it's it performs best with a wet steam mixture where you've got a little bit of water coming out with it and the difference between this and a pressure washer is that a pressure washer uses mostly kinetic energy and if you've ever cleaned anything with a pressure washer before you'll find that the object you cleaned up may be spick and span when you're done but the area around you is just obliterated including yourself a pressure washer will splatter stuff all over you the steam um, water mixture has the effect of an aerator on a faucet in your house where like in your sink where the water won't splash on you so when the steam and water mixture hits it kind of just disperses um, at a 90 degree angle versus directly back at you this uses thermal energy instead of kinetic energy the pressures that you're running with is on the order of 250 psi's instead of 1600 to 3000 that you get with a pressure washer so you're not tearing up shingles and damaging stuff you can actually uh, tear stuff up with the pressure washer pretty easy if you're not careful the same applies with this um, just like when you run your finger through a candle flame if you've ever seen anyone do that same effect with this if you're brief and you uh, keep your residence time low you're not going to burn anything with this flame you can take a blowtorch and scan it over any object without doing any serious damage if you're careful and the steam kind of helps wet and protect so you could spray this directly on the front of a really nice grill or oven without having to worry about damaging any of the knobs or plastic like that i even have video of me using these things to clean carpets you can't stop or you will melt the carpet but if you keep the gun in motion you're good to go so i'm going to shut up and quit yapping and uh try and get you guys some footage of this thing actually working instead of my jaw all right so when you're lighting this thing up you definitely got to have the water running the whole time it's really easy to light and it's very hot out today it's like 90 degrees so we're not going to get a very good representation of the steam but even at this temperature you can see we're getting a pretty good spray out of there i'm just kind of scanning it on this metal to see if any serious warping happens i'm going to scuff this thing up real bad later for the customer who's coming to pick it up to test it out on some stainless steel that's why that's laying down here we're going to throw some grease and stuff there's a quick little look at the front end glowing red hot on you there see how it's got two glowing red hot spots there pretty cool but uh here's another clip of me taking off that sticker just to kind of because people keep asking about that and uh before i get rid of this thing i want to test it on sticker removal because i've only done it with the propane burner um, and i feel like the diesel has more power so I felt like it should be able to take the stickers off even quicker. And uh, it does pretty good. 
I feel like the sticker's flapping in its way more than anything, but uh, as you can see, it's done out of there. So, not too shabby. Just a quick look at it from the stand perspective there. So glad I got my Trimix gas back. I was trying to weld with stain mix, and I tell you what, never again. I will only weld stainless steel like this with Trimix gas. It does such a beautiful job. It doesn't splatter. You don't really have to clean stuff as much as you would otherwise. I'm not bragging about my welds here. I'm just happy that it's not a splattered up mess. <laughs> So, fellas, so I spent about 80 bucks figuring out that these nozzles aren't going to work. But that's good. A guy's got to know stuff. These are the 4.5s. So I'm definitely glad I didn't try the 3.5s. This is too small for the system. The back pressure exceeds 300 PSI. So we can't do it with this rig. The um, overpressure valve is only a 275 psi this might actually only be a 250. no it's 275 because the hose is rated for 300. this is what the rig looks like hooked up to a pressure washer you can see this little thing right here is the uh the bypass valve assembly that gives us the ability to control the flow rate and the pressure i kind of like that side handle action here's where that sticker was So there you go, fellas, the Steam Axe diesel power cleaner.